So from here, we're gonna take this chassis and we're gonna run it into the chassis plant. We're gonna add the star foundation. On top of the star foundation, we have a tag axle on this coach that's actually going to steer as we get into tight maneuvering positions. So when we take into effect comfort drive, the star foundation and a passive steer tag axle on the Newmar chassis, a Newmar diesel is the ultimate RB driving experience available in the country. Right now, we have just moved into the chassis plant. And this is where we take the raw chassis from our yard, bring it into the plant, and we start adding on our star foundation at this point. The star foundation is a foundation that we add to either the Freightliner or Spartan chassis. It's going to add to our coach. It's going to make it, just like the STAR acronym sounds, stronger, truer, and more robust. So what we're looking at here are cross members that have been welded on top of our STAR foundation. And these are critically important. These are going to be very square and very true because this is the basement area where our actual floor will set upon. Okay, so when we were out in our chassis yard, what we saw was the plain Freightliner chassis. And that chassis had a rail, it's right here. We've not removed that. What we've done is we've leveled the front of the coach, we've leveled the back of the coach to make that rail straight, true, and square. And now we've added on vertical support that run up and down, and that's going to give you an area to secure these vertical supports which are very important because this is the perimeter of the chassis. We have the same thing on the other side. And on the perimeter of your motorhome is where you have your kitchen countertops, your refrigerator, your sofa, and that's where all the weight is. What ideally we want to do is take that weight and transfer it back to the center of the coat. So we have added in these supports that run from the outside back down to the center rail. And this is another rail that we've added to strengthen the whole foundation of the home that we're building on. If you look down here, you can see this plate that we've welded into the Freightliner chassis rail, and then we've taken a two by four, quarter inch thick, tubular steel piece and welded that to the plate, and that runs the whole length of the chassis from front to back, adding more structural integrity. So our home is going to be more rigid, more robust as it's traveling down the bumpy road. The other thing that we've added to our structure is these cross members that kind of run in a Z configuration. And what that's going to do for us as the chassis is going down the road, up and down the bumps, through turns and twists, that adds structural side to side support. So we're going to have less flex in the chassis and less chance of the home ever coming out of square. One of our gas chassis has just come off to the production line and it has an awful lot of raw metal associated with it. We're now going to take this entire chassis and run it into our paint booth and coat it with black paint to prevent rust and corrosion. Okay, so we're now over into the painted chassis. And this is a diesel, and one of the unique things about our diesel chassis is we have a sub-basement floor that is layered and insulated, and then the very bottom We've got sheet metal to protect it from road debris. On top of that sheet metal is a layer of protection. It's called black foam insulation. It's about an inch and a half thick, and it gives us an insulation value. And we have a wood liner that goes on top of that, and it offers a floor that's close to three inches thick and protects our water tanks from freezing up. Also next down on the road noise and any other outside environmental things that want to come into the coach. So what we're looking at here is one of Newmar's wood floors. We use this on our gas and our diesel chassis. It gets mounted right on top of the frame rails. And as you can see, we use structure wood on the floor versus plywood. There's a good reason for that. It has a 25 year warranty, but we can build an entire floor with just one seam versus plywood that only comes in four foot lengths and you end up with five, six, or seven seams depending on the size of the motor home. Wood has many advantages. Wood will absorb vibration from the engine. Wood will absorb vibration from the street noise. Wood is a natural insulator. It's quieter, so it's warmer in the cold, it's cooler in the heat, and it's quieter going down the road.
When the woman first walks up those stairs and looks through the coach, if she is not comfortable and feels like this is her home, they're gonna move on to the next coach. Design direction is actually driven by our customer interaction at rallies. We uh, discuss their likes and their dislikes. We actually would rather hear the dislikes so that we can affect change to those dislikes and create a better product for our retail customers. This RV is their home. Many of these people are full-timers and we want this to be as comfortable for them as it would be in their own home that isn't on wheels. We here at Newmar believe that design and sales are very, very integral parts working together as we go to these rallies. Our sales force is there as well as design. We're talking to the exact same customers. We're interacting with them for their wants and needs and sales group has a lot of input in terms of the future product. We attend uh, many, many trade shows. These go from kitchen and bath shows to flooring shows to the Architectural Digest show in New York City. Uh, we try to see what the trends are and not that I want to be trendy, but we need to know what people are wanting right now. Everything from the stoves to the TVs to what they're walking on and sitting on. I did not grow up, so to speak, in the RV industry. My experiences in the residential field have flowed over into the RV world and Newmar has allowed me to take my residential experience and put it to use. The Newmar difference primarily begins with the manufacturing process. The design of the product is actually driving sales as well as the quality. Quality is executed by our associates um, within the manufacturing process. The manufacturing process and the quality that goes into those products is actually what separates Newmar away from all of our competitors. I'm very passionate about what I do. I've been doing this for 25 years, and in the end, I just want to make the customer happy. And when I can see that smile on their face and them come up to me and give me a hug, it all makes it worth it. What we're trying to do is allow them to achieve a vehicle to enjoy their lifestyle, enjoy it in a way that they're willing to put their faith in Newmar and Newmar's associates. At Newmar, I've come to experience that they're more interested in what the customer wants and taking care of the customer than they really are about the day-to-day -day business. It means a great deal to us as a design team, knowing that we can design products for that customer and that the family stands behind each and every one of those. We're in a Newmark Dutch Star off model 4041. And what I want to do is take a couple minutes and tell you a little bit about Comfort Drive. It's one of the exclusives that Newmark has on all their diesel chassis. And Comfort Drive is right here in the steering wheel. But to get a true effect for what it does for you, the driver, um, it's really hard to explain. But it um, does three things. Number one, I'm in a big 40 foot motorhome with a tag axle. And typically when you're in a coach this large and, and this heavy, it takes quite a bit of power to, to turn that wheel at a dead stop. But with Comfort Drive, I just have a pinky on the wheel and I'm turning it all the way into a 60 degree wheel cut. Almost turns on a dime. And the other thing that Comfort Drive will do is it's always gonna wanna center you as you're traveling down the highway. So when I take my hand off the wheel, even at a dead stop, the wheel is gonna bring us back to center. Imagine how much that can help you in a backupping position. The other thing Comfort Drive does for you, it's not just an electronic assist over the existing power steering pump, it's also computerized and it monitors what I'm doing with the wheel and what the tires are doing down on the road. So if I'm driving down the road in my car and I'm on a very crowned road and I don't continually work to keep that car on the road and I let go of the wheel, the car's gonna go right off the road. With Comfort Drive, because the computer is monitoring what the tires are doing and what I'm doing on the wheel, over the course of 15 to 20 seconds, it's going to take over that turning it back 
and it by itself is going to keep me going straight. I can just hold on to the wheel with my finger and thumb and casually travel down the highway. We're now standing on the outside of the 40-foot Dutch Star with the passive steer tag axle and the comfort drive. And take a look at the turning radius and look at the rear tires that help bring the back end around and actually literally gives you an additional 17% less turning radius than what a traditional tag axle will do. And if you focus on the ground, we're in a gravel lot and you see no stones being plowed to the side like you traditionally do on a tag axle diesel motor home. CQI is an acronym for Customer Quality Inspection. We are in the CQI building on the Newmar campus. We take every coach we build down here. This has four bays. Any brand can come down here in any one of our bays. And we do a full aesthetic and functional inspection of our final units. Our goal at Newmar is to ship a defect-free, reliable coach. In doing so, we realize we need to do a better job of final inspection. So we created and developed our CQI inspection process. We repurposed the building on campus to enable us to do that in a clean, well-lit, better environment than what we were doing in the past. Our goal of the process was to basically double the amount of inspection time on the inside, outside, and functions of what we were doing in the past to be able to do a better job for our customers and our dealers. We've also increased the amount of time we spend inside the coach, including much more functional tests, including a lot more water tests, a lot more detailed inspections of the outside and inside of our cabinets, our floors, all the way across the board to get a lot more thorough inspection. As part of our CQI inspection area, we can do a much better and thorough job of exterior inspection. Included in that is these light carts that we've designed that allows us to roll them around move lighting around to do a much better clear coat and paint inspection. Part of the design of our CQI inspection was to have enough headroom in our building to enable a proper roof inspection. This building is tall enough that allows us to put proper scaffolding in and proper fall protection in so we can do a good roof inspection. That includes a visual inspection of all our seals. It includes a water inspection on our high-end coaches with roof gutters to look for any leaks in our system. At Newmar, we're blessed with great people. In CQI, we have six full-time inspectors that have over 80 years of RV inspection experience. So we've got a lot of very knowledgeable, good people down here that are helping to, to inspect the final quality of our product. When the coach has done the CQI inspection, it leaves to go back to the other side of the campus all the items that are found down here are worked off and then it gets reinspected by a quality inspector up there before we can send it to our ship room. We work every day to improve our quality plan to build the best coaches in the industry. They're defect free, reliable for our customers. That's part of the Newmar difference. CQI is the end of that process that allows us to ship the best product and continue to learn.